Oh, come on, I got stunned low to death. Oh, that's it. That's it. You can't rule out. But like, wait to see if there's poise. I mean, with poise, if that changes. The damage is so bad. So yeah, this is what worries me the most about Elden Ring PvP. It's not the SS cancel or the move swap glitch or whatever. It's really being stun locked to death in a blender and not being able to do anything about it. This is like the most helpless you can be in a video game is when you get comboed or when you look back at the footage and you see that there was nothing else you could have done to die. And this is something I really hope they fix during the full release which is about like a few weeks now. A few weeks away. Guys, a few weeks away and then we can play Elden Ring finally. So let's look at a few footage and let's try to explain a little bit what's going on. So so let's first also explain what's the infinite stun lock about. So the, the, the what's going on here in Elden Ring that we've seen so far and that I really hope is going to get patched when the game comes out is that if, if the people you're facing, usually two or more people, are attacking you one after the other, their attack goes into a succession of hit that prevents you from rolling away in Elden Ring. The, since we don't really have the true combo mechanic involved with the R1, R1 true combo, after an opponent hits you once, you should be able to get out of the fight to be able to re-engage or if you don't want to uh, roll away, you can just block. There is a couple of various things you can do. But here, what's going on is that if the attacks gets to you in a succession by different people, you will just die. So this is what we're going to see right away. So what's going on here is going to get attacked. So there we go. It's story. I mean, with poison that damage is so bad. Oh my god, man! Oh my fucking god! Okay, so what's going on here is that G9 is getting blendered away. He's trying to roll away. He's spamming roll. He tries to roll away, but it doesn't work out. It just gets stun locked to death by these two guys. Just pressing R1 after the other. So what's going on is that they hit him in, in succession. And as a result of uh, as getting hit in succession, G9 isn't able to roll out of it. And his stun meter is not able to recover so that he can engage into another action. There was a whole mechanic in Dark Souls 3, which was the hit count. I'll link a description. I'll link, I will link a video in the description below explaining a little bit how that whole mechanic works. But here, um, it seems like, it, so that mechanic was there in order to prevent you from getting caught into a blender of, of weapon and hit and not being able to roll away or, you know, to just do anything about it to get out of it. The, the, the way this mechanic worked was that there was a certain amount of time you can get hit, which was usually about two to three times, and then you were able to roll away. No matter how many hit you get hit after this, you were able to roll away, you are able to do something about it so that you don't just die. And here in Elden Ring, it's not there. So I'm not sure if that's on purpose. I'm not sure if this is something that they've worked on and they're going to fix. But this is not good so far. This is not good at all. We have another example. It's also something that happened to me. So it's basically the same stuff. I'm getting hit by this guy. This other man is charging his R1 and the first guy who hit me charges is hitting R1 again. Usually in Elden Ring, how it works is that you should be able to roll out from Usually how the whole system in Elden Ring works so far is that after 1 or 1, you're able to roll away. After any hit, you're able to roll away. There's a few hidden combo that not, that of course not, not all of them have been found, but the true combos are not R1 or 1. So after a hit, you're able to roll away or to do any other action to engage with your opponent, right? But here, if your opponent hits you in succession, you're dead. Here is another clip from the Knight of Pi where it just gets Blandered until death. Starting right here. Oh, that's it. That's it. You can't rule out. <laughs> and then he gets she bagged off. 
<laughs> now you can't roll out, man. You're just you're just dead. So there was actually a moment where he could have acted, which is right here. You can see his character moving slightly. Here, he's able to move a little bit, but then since he doesn't roll away, he tries to maybe attack them, or I'm not sure what he's trying to do, he gets caught into the blender. And this is so helpless, like, you know, being in this situation where there's nothing you can do, they're just gonna kill you, man. You cannot try to parry, you cannot try to block, you cannot try to roll, you're just dead. And this is going to be a very, very unpleasant experience when you're trying to invade, or even if you're a host and you get invaded by two people you're just gonna die and somehow G9 has found a way to make this whole thing even worse so what he's doing here is that he's um, combining the move swap technique with the infinite stun lock so I'll just play the clip then we'll talk about it amazing amazing huh? <laughs> isn't it so I'll explain what's going on here for those who don't really, um, are not familiar with the tax tactics involved here. So he's doing what's called a move swap. Okay, so what what the move how the move swap works is that you do an attack, you switch weapon into your menu, you take one step forward, and you do one R1 again, and that way you're able to keep the animation of the weapon you first did the R1 with, but with the range and the damage of the other weapon. So in this context, is switching from... So in this context, is switch from a dagger to a great lance, which has a lot more range and a lot more damage than the dagger, and is able to inf infinite stun lock because same as earlier, uh, the, the count mechanic is not implemented, so, and since he's able to hit for, from further away, because he's not hitting with the dagger anymore, he's hitting with the great lens, but with the speed of a dagger, the opponent cannot do anything. The, the reason why I have less problem with that uh, glitch is because it's a lot harder to pull out. Like, the guy he was doing the test with was a test dummy, was not moving, and it's a complicated tactic, so that's not something you're gonna run into every day. You know, someone who's able to move swap as he's engaged into a fight with you, it's something that you see very rarely. Even in Dark Souls 3, that was something that you would see very rarely. Um, and in my opinion, it's a feat of great hand dexterity and great game sense and game knowledge, so I'm not too worried about this one. But yeah, it can be something, it can be a thing. The main problem here that the dev need to fix is the is the heat count, like bring back the heat registrations that we're able to not just die from from just R1 spam. Like that's too too much of a frustration. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole like glitch, about this whole I think is that more of an issue than Estes cancel or are the glitch you've seen so far in Elden Ring? What are you worried about Elden Ring PvP going forward? Um, and what are your hopes also, you know? We can also talk about great things. And thank you guys so much for watching. That was the Tarnish Training Camp. And I'll see you guys very soon in the land between. Bye-bye.